and we're just going to gently twist side to side. As they happen now, this is the morning meeting ahead of a 12 hour shift and a virus to hunt. We did have seven new cases, uh, majority of which were associated with long term care, either staff or resident. Infection numbers in London Middlesex are low, but they've learned each positive person can infect three others. So the goal is to contact each case within 24 hours of a positive test and find all their contacts. So when it started, contacts of a case were tremendous. We could have people with 30, 40, 50 contacts until we started seeing people self-isolating, those contacts went to one or two. What happens when businesses open again? This office seems a bit abandoned because some 60 odd workers are making the crucial calls from home. Since they follow every person through their illness, some calls are awful as COVID's grip tightens. They can hear the shortness of breath and the inability to even talk and they've had to respond and, and call 911 for that person to get them to hospital. That's pretty terrifying. The two days prior to your symptom onset, as well as the 14 days after your symptoms have started. And that's what's been identified as you would be most infectious to others. Julie Frederick is a public health inspector by trade. Getting to the truth is her specialty. Sometimes the story changes right over the time and they develop a sense of trust with the investigator and more kind of unfold as time goes on. Because are people afraid they're going to get in trouble somehow? Definitely, definitely. If uh, if we've had a situation where an employer has very clearly told someone that you're not to come to work when you're sick and then uh, they do, it, it could present challenges for their, uh, their employment as well. Right. So if you find... Oops, this means being kind and fast, and she's both. Good afternoon, Julie speaking. How are you? You've been better, I bet. I On the bet. phone, Thank a young you man. He's been very careful, but the questions have to come. Is it a uh, one-bedroom unit, two-bedroom unit? How do you coordinate things like going out for essentials? Kitchen, one open kitchen, I would assume. So it is, it is shared laundry facilities. That was a key question in a conversation lasting nearly half an hour. Persistent, comforting, not just about tracing, but making sure people get help. We reached out to the man who says he was relieved to hear from the contact tracing team hasn't been out of his apartment in weeks. There you are. But he learned recently someone else in the building was infected. This probably would have been like a washing machine or a dryer or uh, the door to the laundry room kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that would be my theory as to where and when I picked it up. How are you because feeling? Like, yeah, this is the first day I've been able to kind of be up and about on my own. There were several days where I, I couldn't get out of bed. It was Once really Matthew bad. McKay felt ill, he locked everything down. Uh, only had groceries dropped off and we made sure we didn't go anywhere because having felt this the way I felt it, I wouldn't want to give it to anyone else. So yeah, I didn't have to rack my brain too hard just to who I've been in contact with at least, so. Well, there's a relief for you, eh? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Another relief that his wife and son tested negative. And, and, am I hearing right that it's, it's your one-year-old's birthday today? It is, yes, yeah, his birthday's today, so not how we thought we'd be spending it. Not how anyone thought life would be like now.